Queen Spinuti. Outsiders, eh? Bring them to me at once! Spinelli was a short-term queen for the kindergartens. With the name Spinuti. She was loyal to her fellow guards. And enjoyed listening to them shout her name. She was only fond of those who trespass her area. Those of who are not part of her kindergarten group. And would often throw trespassers out of her local area of her throne. Spinuti soon retired her position as queen and left the throne. I'll tell you what's a big misunderstanding, our friendship. These are my friends now, the little people. Prince Randall. I don't care. To the dungeon with him. Prince Randall was the one to blackmail King Bob into making himself prince. He made a dungeon underneath his throne to throw students in. And hired smarter students as his helper towards punishment ideas. And forced his guards to hit students as extra punishment for not bowing at his knees. Prince Randall later got forced off of his throne by King Bob and was thrown in his own dungeon for his blackmailing. And his leadership powers were diminished. Woe is me, we are not free. No singing! King Bob. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I'm through with you. With King Bob being harsh, careless, and selfish in the earlier episodes. What makes him interesting is his backstory with his experience with the king who graduated to make him king. He often speaks of how nobody remembers the previous king and in return forcing students to build pyramids, and refused to help anyone in need, and often talked about his own victories, and referred to younger students as dumb kids, and made them wrestle each other for his own amusement, and forced newer kids to change their name, but he later realized his rights and wrongs, and helped kids instead. Then he soon graduated and left the throne. Well, what I'm trying to say is, I'm sorry. King Gus. No one questions my authority, no one! My will be done! Now go! Go! King Gus was stupid, quick-tempered, and brainless. He made ridiculous rules and punished those who didn't follow. And he often threatened his own men. The reasoning for his evil behavior is that he got too caught up in the leadership after his men told him that he was in charge when he didn't know what a king's leadership was. Though he knew becoming king was a bad idea. As he wouldn't be able to control his emotions. And later apologized and left the throne for hopes of things getting better. Maybe it's not so easy being king. Perhaps it's true what they say. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. King Freddy. Guard! What is this wingerdinger doing in my mouth? Uh, sir, you requested a wingerdinger. I specifically requested a muncherific nut nut bar! Freddy also threatened his men. But for the right reasons. Though he knew it was wrong. He always had a big picture of brutally punishing students for their own understandable wrongdoings but he was still fairly new at his leadership as being king. So he was still getting used to the throne. But for the most part, he followed the law and was a respective king in the end. In the fifth and sixth graders club, fifth and sixth graders all get along.